So I think the starting point for a lot of my work is really observation. It's picking out something that intrigues me, something that stands out to me, something that's just a little off center, um, that makes me maybe pause in my daily rhythm. Part of the reality is that I've chosen these materials, but there's also a sense of them having chosen me. All the materials that I work with are materials that I've interacted with physically and, and had some sort of resonance with. Once that, once that physical direct connection has been made between my body and the object, there's often then a, a sort of an in-depth engagement with what the potential of that object could be. And that, that means bringing it into the studio, which means abstracting it from the world. So taking it away from its initial intended use. So subjecting these materials to like sort of almost scientific experiments, like running them through multiple different tests. Like what if, what if we did this or what if we did this? And then like following up on the little moments of observation. So it's fascinating to me that my starting point with bottle tops was fiddling with them, feeling them thinking about shells, thinking about coins, thinking about currency but then starting to accumulate them in these kind of long strands and then spiraling these strands, suddenly my question became more interested in light. And so I think this idea of as below, so above kind of speaks not only to, um, to the dialogue between painting and sculpture and this kind of, this, um, this in-between space that my work operates in, but also sort of the way that I operate, where I'd, I'm not necessarily operating purely on a conceptual level or purely on a process-based level, but somewhere in between, where the process inspires research and the research then inspires new work. And so there's this kind of, this happening between gut instinct and cerebral decision-making. So there's this, this relationship between the viewer and the artwork that I think is um, deeply phenomenological and, uh, and I think this idea of intersecting planes, whether that's the social and the political or whether that's the spiritual and the material, are interesting moments for us to explore and interesting moments where I think my work resides. Um, and I think that's p potentially where the viewer can become involved. And maybe if we can, you know, rethink the way we think about a bottle top, we can rethink the way we think about people or environments or um, situations um, that, we've, we, that we've otherwise taken for granted.